Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the welterweight bout between Blood Diamond versus Charlie Raddick. And how I feel about this one right here is I'm going low confidence um, Blood Diamond to beat Charlie Raddick. Um, yeah, with this one, I think Blood Diamond is a great value right now. I think he, last I just checked, he was plus 275. Might be on a rise, might be on a decline, but last I checked, he was plus 275. So very good odds given what I'm saying, and I am leaning Blood Diamond to win. Low confidence. Got to you know, understand his track record, but also you got to understand his track record. Like Who has he lost? He lost to um, Jeremiah Wells. Jeremiah Wells is a problem for a lot of people in this weight class. Jeremiah Wells just isn't no random nobody. Charlie Raddick is a random nobody, but wasn't, But um, Jeremiah Wells is a freak, of, physical freak of nature with a BJJ background, flows of heavy, has heavy hands. He's a physical specimen of some sort. And then he lost a close fight to Cozy, which I feel he won upon rewatch. He used to defend a lot of his takedowns. He hurt him several times. He outlanded him. In my opinion, he should have won the fight, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. And I feel like um, Cozy really did much anything with the takedowns he got. And I, feel, and I think um, he had like a 70% takedown defense in that fight. And then going in with um, this guy, Charlie Raddick, you got to think, why is he being brought into the UFC? Does he, has he really did anything to deserve this fight in the UFC? Like, was he that oppressive? No. Did he win the contender series fight? No. He's been brought in for a reason. He's not been brought in because he's phenomenal. He's been brought in because he gives um, Blood Diamond a chance to win. That's about it. And I think Blood Diamond will take that chance. And I think he'll capitalize on the chance. And I think he gets done. It's not a perfect stylistic matchup. Um, Raddick does have some solid BJJ skills and you know, has competed in BJJ competitions. But I don't like his durability. I don't like the way he reacts to damage. And I feel like Blood Diamond's wrestling defense will be on point as it was in the last fight and better than it was in the last fight. Be able to keep us on the feet. And I think he'll be able to tag and hurt, be awkward, be unorthodox, chew up the legs, chew up the body, and wear down on um, Charlie Raddick. I think he gets him out in the second round. I think Raddick's going to try to get hurt early in the first round or in that first round and try to rally, probably hold on for dear life and try to go for takedowns, which is probably going to get him through the first round and maybe even be able to get a takedown there. But then the round's going to end. Second round, he'll be desperate again. So I get push back and tagged up getting teed off on and I think he gets put away the middle part of that you know in the middle of that second round so in this one I have Blood Diamond via second round TKO